<laughs> yeah, I don't watch well, animated. Yeah, uh, it's animated. Well, moving off the. Oh, go ahead, go. I was gonna say moving off the DC universe, but uh, well, just one thing. Like when we kept talking about like mispronouncing names, what I think is funny is I feel like people's names that are celebrities or in pop culture are just what people call them. Like it's just an unfortunate truth. Like one thing that Cam might know about, but I know the two don't watch football, is like the best tight end of the league for the Chiefs, Travis Kelsey. Like that, I don't know if it was a joke or whatever, but he just said like two years ago, he's like, my name is actually not pronounced Kelsey, but everyone's been calling him that for like ten years. So it's just like it's just like when with actors with celebrities, I feel like it's like whoever the first person in the media pronounces your name, you're just mm. stuck with that. Like I'm sorry, like even if it's completely wrong, that's just the way it's gonna go. But now we're gonna get into Cam Walsh 27's favorite segment of the podcast, Marvel. Like it all. Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. First up, we got Adam Driver reportedly meeting with Marvel for an upcoming film in Fantastic Four. Don't know what what part of the casting is going to be there. If he's going to be, I don't know, Reed Richards, or if he's going to be a villain or whatever's going to happen there. I don't really dig this or hate this, but I want to hear you guys thoughts. George, you made a face. I don't, I don't like this at all. Um, yeah. I, 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 I mean, well, first off, I will admit that I, I am, I, I, I am not up to speed. on like fantastic four comics as much as I am. Like this right here is like mostly DC comics. Um, I have read a good chunk of fantastic four graphic novels. I just don't think, Adam, and obviously he could prove me wrong, but I just don't, there they are significantly better options. I have been pushing for Jason Sudeikis to be Reed Richards. I think he would fit the uh, comedic role that we know is coming into the MCU pretty well. He's not my first choice, but- You don't he, know that's coming. Could he, change. It's, shut up, Could it's, change. It, it's coming, it's coming. Reed Richards is gonna be it's cracking jokes left and right. Well, if um, they do, Jason Sudeikis would be good. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So if they're if they're going the classic MCU route, I think Jason Sudeikis is a good pick. But there's so many better choices, like uh, um, Rahul Kohli from Midnight Mass and Haunting of Bly Manor. I think he'd be a fantastic yeah. casting. Um, Adam Driver, I just can't see him in this role. I can't see him playing like an incredibly intelligent man for some reason i think i just have kylo ren way too stuck in my brain to see him in a hero's role um so i don't know yeah and seth you you said really seth which is shocking to me i think adam driver's just like an incredible actor i think he's a great actor so i'm not gonna say like i'm not gonna say this is a bad thing like getting good actors into the mcu or any any type of universe is not a bad thing at all um it, it is a little odd for fantastic four what he's not going to be he's not going to be johnny storm or the thing that's for sure he's going to be reed richards or he's going to be uh dr doom uh, dr doom thank you i would love that that i would love that's what i'd prefer more is that i would love and that's kind of what i where i think he is but i'd also you know i'm i'm okay if they go like an unnamed not unnamed but like a lesser known actor for these roles and just roll with them for 10 12 years how old is is uh adam driver 38 mid mid to late 30s yeah, so he's probably late thirties, which that, isn't it, it's not too old, but it's like at fifty, I'd say he probably doesn't want to play these roles yeah. anymore. But uh, also, when the MCU started off, that's where they kind of thrived. Like obviously, Robert Downey Jr. was a household name, but he wasn't being cast in anything because of his history yeah, with he's drugs a lot, yeah, or shit. So like by the time he came back to the MCU, everyone had forgotten about him. And then same thing, like Chris Evans was essentially a no name as except for uh, playing Johnny storm, which everyone obviously just didn't love him in. Same with Chris Hemsworth, same with uh, Natalie, um, Natalie Corpin, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Like these weren't like a list actors. And I wouldn't say Scarlett Johansson was like, she lived up the stage. Yeah. She was in a uh, few, but she was never this household. Like Adam driver is a household name right now. Like him and Chalamet are like leading this like next generation of actors in Hollywood right now. And, get new actors get that's why i think horror movies we're we'll always talking about horror movies succeed the way they we do can talk because, about them as much as you want george yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> but they bring in these no-name actors and actresses and it makes things just feel more authentic Did you guys see that bug no. <laughs> i thought you were just reacting to something I no, was <laughs> a fucking bug just harassed me <laughs> yeah uh, i got it with you though george i see what you're saying yeah and just briefly Thanks, like kid. speaking of like horror movies and how like they often succeed smile is just continuing to crush it at the box office it. like it's just raking in money mental <laughs> it's because it's good you went and saw it seth <laughs> yeah because, because you're it's the a problem. horror you're you the think problem. i wouldn't go and see so that's a horror no. like i'll go and see pray for the devil next week but it'll be bad like it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be terrible i don't know if i'm gonna see that <laughs> really 
It looks so you bad. You know, bro, you know you'll see that. Like, you know you'll see it. I know, but it just looks like... If it, it gets looks good like... reviews, he'll see it, I feel like. <laughs> no, Maybe. that... I mean, like, well, why... smile, smile has we'll see. Movie. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll decide next week. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> All right. Well, next piece of news Spider Man 4 releasing July 12th, 2024. It's reported to be a direct sequel to Daredevil Born Again. And it's supposed to be a very grounded movie with street level threats. And now I have the utmost faith in the Spider Man movies. They've really given me no reason to think negatively of them. But I feel like this, like, almost could be not receive that like i feel like as a marvel kind of like slapping pundits in the face because i feel like that's something so many people ask for superhero movies they're like man we just need like a spider-man film where he's just like fighting crime on the streets no big threats and like that would just be so awesome just like the comics and then i feel like when it comes to fruition the movie happens at that grounded level i just don't think it's going to translate as well as everyone hopes it will but also at the same time when they say this i just don't trust marvel i just think at the end of this or something like there's no way this is going to be two hours straight of ground level threats that never connect to some bigger ulterior thing. I don't this really trust Sony. it, but but yeah, let's see here. Cam, what do you think? This is Sony. First of all. Sony. It is, it's still, it is in that yeah. view, but it, it's it's Sony producers, Sony directors, Sony scripts just with MCU like, hey, throw this in. And also I've seen a lot of things that are like um that are like, we don't want Daredevil in this show. Why does Spider-Man um, always have to have an MCU character with him? You want to know why? It's in the contract. That's why. Sony Sony says, hey, you can have this character, but we want one of your characters to appear in, in the movie. So that's why. That's why they have Iron Man. That's why they had, uh, who was in the second one? Uh, Nick Fury. And then Nick that's Fury. why we have um, uh, Doctor Strange. So there's your little history lesson. Is this confirmed July 12th, 2024? Right now, yes. I didn't see this. I thought it was there's, a rumor. Um, I mean, there's a hundred percent chance it gets pushed back. Yeah, that's fair. I didn't see, I didn't see this. So when it was in the rundown, I was like, Oh, cool. Um, I don't want John Watts to come back. I think he did good for his trilogy. Um, did really well for his trilogy, I should say. Um, but I'd like to see a new director. Just give your own trilogy. Obviously we're going to get three more Spider-Man uh, movies because if not with tom holland we're gonna get them with someone else so you might as well make it with tom holland right um but if you've seen no way home which you have um <laughs> you, you'll know where he's at right now and he is very he's on his own doesn't have any any money any aunt may and any any love interest so this is good I, i'm excited for it you know don't know a whole lot but we'll see how it, we'll see how it i was just say you know we we're speaking about george mackey mckay whatever yeah he looks like a spider-man yeah, yeah, he does. He does. It's just because he, he got a generic white dude face. No, no, no. Yeah, he's, he's like, white and twenty. Yeah. I think I, I think Cam looks like Spider Man too. No. <laughs> no. That was a little rude. Um, I could look uh, like Spider Man before he gets bit by the spider and doesn't have any. Cam, I, I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? So I think I think it's pretty obvious that Tom Holland is kind of tapped out of the Spider Man role right now. I don't think he's thinking about this long term. Yeah, probably not. Um, what would oh. your thoughts of go Miles Morales? Exactly, that, that was yeah. exactly where my points are. What, what were your thoughts on whatever the next Spider Man movie would be? Kill off Tom Holland's Spider Man, but prior to killing him off, having introduced a Miles Morales to take over his man. Who would you cut? Awesome. Oh, uh, I don't know off the top of my hand. The, the guy from Stranger yeah, Things, Jay Jay from Stranger Things. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I there's a who's that? Who's that kid from? Um, fucking like grown-ups too but he's grown up now um chris rock he's grown up now I just but anyway to, to the point of spider-man 4 i think this opens so many opportunities not be jeter <laughs> peter Parker, tom holland spider-man i think has taken a back seat in his last four movies he's appeared in um obviously toby and andrew appearing in no way home Endgame and Infinity War, he's nowhere near the main character. And even in Far From Home, I think uh, Jake Gyllenhaal outshines him like fucking crazy. Um, so I think there's a lot of opportunity to just really dissect Tom Holland as a Peter Parker as opposed to a Spider-Man in this movie. Um, I don't want to see Ned. I don't want to see MJ in the next Spider-Man I'd be movie. fine with them, like, seeing them, not, like, seeing making them. Movie. But I don't want the whole movie trying to be, like, Get Peter back. Parker like reconstructing his life i want to see yeah. him accept the fact New. that this happened and he needs to move on and i yeah. think that potential opens a lot of doors for an emotional farewell to tom holland as spider-man yeah so i don't know I, my my worry is that they have uh they have into the spider-verse across the spider-verse whatever the fourth movie's gonna yeah be. 
uh, or third movie, sorry. Um, I don't know if they'll do a live action Miles Morales, but if hell, bring it into that, yeah, well, like bring it into this world, you know, point. like after after Across the Spider Verse, make it all live action. I don't know. That's the one thing. That's the one thing they have going for them right now. So milk that theories. as much as you can, Sony. I think it'd be really comical if they killed off Tom Holland, like you said, and they had a Miles Morales replace him. But they did it in Spider Man Four, where it's like. Tom Holland, Superman, or Spider-Man has fought off all these otherworldly beings and crazy villains, but then just have, like, some thug that's robbing a 7-Eleven be the one to actually kill <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> There's be like, Miles yeah. Morales taking over now. Yeah. Um, it's fair. But, yeah, next piece of MCU news. Florence Pugh is rep- reportedly getting paid eight figures to start in Thunderbolts and another upcoming believe. MCU film. Eight, like, she's a great Good actress. For uh-huh. Good for her. Eight figures sounds so much... I mean, okay, it's a lot of fucking money, but it sounds a lot more so than it actually much. is. Yeah, it's because not a lot. Scar- like Scarlett now. Johansson for Black Widow was paid $20 million, and that was after a long legal battle, a lot of lawsuits. So you know Marvel and Disney were not interested in trying to go down that road again and get, get trapped again with an accusation. That's, to only because it went to, that's only because it went to streaming. Right, but still, it was, ba- it was very bad, like, PR and like Scarlett Johansson was very disgruntled. Um, but Which, so basically, eight figures means she's probably getting twenty-ish million for two films, ten million a film. Based on salaries these days for these for movies, her. it's not that crazy. Like that's pretty. I mean, I'd if expect. you're gonna pay, if you're gonna pay a young female actress that, you pay Florence Pugh. That, don't you? like, yeah. yeah, she is that good. So the only thing also, is, she won't be I've like the main seen... star of these movies. Like she's not gonna be like the lead. So like that's where I could see yeah, like eight no, figures is kind of no, crazy. No, that's not true. She, she is gonna be. Oh the really? Lead. Yeah, she's leading the Thunderbolts. She's the main character, and oh. the same with the next movie. That she also, her name her name will attract people to come over to, to the MCU. Yeah. Well, then you know what? I'm dropping a new take. Eight figures isn't enough if she's leading two movies. Uh, has much. anyone made, has anyone made more Eighth. like in the MCU? How much did like Robert yeah. Downey and Daniel 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 made seventy five million for yeah. Endgame? I mean, but that's a, his, that's one, his he so, had like a very I interesting mean. lucrative contract that was different than everyone else's. So he's kind of an outlier. Didn't, uh, didn't Vin Diesel make like, like Vin five Diesel million make the shit ton for <laughs> say, fucking I'm crazy. crazy. Yeah. Say the same thing. But that's uh, the thing. I mean, it's the MCU, so they make they made a bill two billion dollars on Endgame. You think they're like, yeah, ten million isn't that much? You know, they'll make money. They're gonna make a. I bet Thunderbolts makes a billion dollars. So it's like, I bet they have written in their contract you're gonna make this much, and then you'll make uh, uh whatever five percent of the box office. So it's gonna amount to a ton and like when i read this i was like holy shit eight figures and then i'm like 10 million for the mcu it's not it's not yeah uh, i kind of think about it now i'm like yeah them. if they want to pay me 10 million i'd be cool with that i've also seen that like your first 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 movie actors and directors in the mcu don't make more than 600 or six figures um and then i've seen like afterwards you just to the moon so good for her who cares yeah. Interesting. It's fun, Peter. So 